Hi everyone, and welcome to World Revolution Channel. This is book summary to breaking the habit of being yourself, how to lose your mind and create a new one by Joe Dispenza. Let enjoy the video, please subscribing to my channel for more great content like this. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. Overview Breaking the habit of being yourself shows you how to tap into your mind's unlimited potential and transform your life from the inside out. Get ready to break free from limiting beliefs and negative thought patterns and become the master of your destiny. Introduction Break and reassemble your mind for a better life. Imagine waking up every morning feeling empowered, inspired, and in control for the rest of your life. What if you could change your thoughts and emotions to attract a reality aligned with your desires? It turns out that you can, and it all starts with understanding the science behind your thoughts and emotions and how they impact your biology and perception of reality. Knowing how it all works and then harnessing your brain's and genes' powers makes it easier to reprogram your subconscious mind to align with your desired outcomes. In this summary, you get to explore how thoughts, emotions, gratitude, and mental imagery can generate and maintain your reality, the role of meditation as a tool for change, and the tangible steps you can take to trade old habits for new ones. Whether breaking free from limiting beliefs, harnessing the power of meditation, or aligning your thoughts and emotions with your desired outcome, the practical tools and techniques you will find in this summary will unlock the gates of your transformation. Your thoughts and emotions create your reality, here's the proof. Have you ever stopped to reflect on the power of your thoughts and emotions? Do you believe that they play a role in shaping your reality? Recent advancements in neuroscience and epigenetics have shed new light on the topic, and the evidence is compelling. Every time you experience a thought or emotion, it triggers a chain reaction of neural activity in your brain. As you continue to think and feel, your brain begins to wire itself in a pattern, creating neural pathways that define your beliefs and habits. Your brain is plastic, meaning it can adapt to new experiences and learning. And it doesn't stop there. Your thoughts and emotions are also intimately connected to your physical state. Research has shown that stress, anxiety, and negative emotions can significantly impact your physical health. In contrast, positive thoughts and feelings can boost your immune system and improve your overall well-being. No wonder the placebo effect is so powerful, it highlights the role of our beliefs and expectations in shaping our physical outcomes. Now imagine if you could harness the power of your thoughts and emotions to create the reality you desire. It is possible, and the first step is to become aware of your limiting beliefs. Are you holding on to negative thought patterns or ideas preventing you from reaching your full potential? By taking a step back and reflecting on these beliefs, you can begin to challenge and transform them. So, your thoughts and emotions are incredibly powerful and influential and play a fundamental role in shaping your reality. By becoming aware of your limiting beliefs and harnessing the power of your mind through intentional practices, you can create a new perception of reality and a more fulfilling life. Ready for a reality shift? Head to the next section for the secrets to it. To start bending reality, fuel up on gratitude and positive imagery first. Ever heard of the expression what you resist persists? It's true, the more you resist something, the more it persists. Whether it's a negative thought, an emotion, or a challenging situation, the more you try to stamp it out, the more it takes over your brain. Why? When you resist something, you are essentially giving it power, and you are telling your brain that this particular thought, emotion, or situation is significant and worthy of your attention. As such, your brain focuses on it, strengthening the neural pathways associated with it and solidifying it in your reality. To rewire your brain, you have to adopt a different approach. Instead of resisting what you don't want, focus on the goals you want to achieve. Shift your attention from things you don't like to those you do. The power to change lies in your capability to reframe and redirect your thoughts and emotions. 
But how do you do it? First, practice gratitude. Make it a habit to focus on the things you are grateful for in life. They could be anything, big or small, a roof over your head, good health, a supportive family, or a beautiful sunset. By focusing on what you are grateful for, you shift your focus away from what you don't like and begin to see the world differently. Another effective method is to engage in positive visualization. Imagine yourself in the reality you desire, complete with all the feelings, emotions, and experiences you want. When you engage in positive visualization, you send a clear Empowering thoughts are the building blocks of your best reality. Your current subjective reality is an accumulation of your beliefs, it is not the sum of your history or the events, people, or places around you. So, in this sense, you shape your reality with what and how you think about yourself and the world. Your thoughts are like seeds that grow into the beliefs that shape your reality. If you sow positive thoughts, you'll reap positive experiences. If you sow negative thoughts, you'll reap negative experiences. It's this simple. Now on to the bigger question, how do you achieve your ideal reality? Consider these two steps, 1. Set more empowering beliefs about yourself, and 2. Focus on what you want instead of what you don't want. Empowering thoughts serve you and help you feel good about yourself and your life. They can give you hope, confidence, and inspiration. For example, instead of believing that you'll never be successful in your job, adopt the idea that you can achieve any accumulating tasks you set your mind to. Instead of thinking that you'll never find love, embrace the belief that love is all around you and that you deserve the right person to love the real you. These empowering thoughts will change how you see and appreciate yourself and will pave the path for more positive experiences to enter your reality. Once you know how to create a fulfilling reality for yourself, you will want to maintain it. Here's where step 2 comes into place. Keep focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. For one, instead of staying in a friendship you keep complaining about, join more groups or activities where you are more likely to meet like-minded people. Want to be more fit? Do exercises that feel good for your body instead of committing to the ones you hate. Your desire is like a magnifying glass that focuses light. The more you focus on what you wish to do, the happier and more fulfilled you will feel. Applying these two steps to your day-to-day -day life can better shape your reality with how you think, feel, and believe. So try to reflect on your current beliefs if you want to take control of your life. Are they more empowering or limiting in nature? Identify which ones to retain and which to reframe. Your day-to-day -day life will shift when you realize the power to shape your best reality has always been in your hands. Daily meditation increases self-awareness and reduces stress. Meditation is a powerful tool for personal transformation. It has been shown to provide many benefits for the mind and body, from reducing stress and anxiety to improving focus and cognitive function. You probably already know this but, like many others, haven't acted on the knowledge. Why is this? Simple, like many people, you still need to incorporate it into your daily routine. Perhaps you've been led to believe you have to look a certain way doing it, so you think it's time-consuming or boring. Maybe you tried meditation to soothe your work stress, but the relief never came, so you gave up. Have you ever considered that meditation is not just for relaxation? It is also an opportunity to rewire the brain and create new neural connections, which can profoundly impact our lives over time. We can become more self-aware, regulate our emotions better and reduce negative thought patterns more effectively by meditating regularly. These proven changes can improve decision-making, increase brain plasticity, 
and provide a greater sense of overall well-being. What's more is that meditation can help us cultivate mindfulness. Being mindful is not about eliminating negative thoughts in a prolonged lotus position. It's about paying attention to the present moment without judgment and observing our thoughts and emotions with detachment. When we are more mindful, we can become more in tune with our thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations. Think of these upgrades as superpowers enabling us to effectively and lovingly respond to situations of all kinds, from a flat tire to the Prepare your internal and external environments well before any big changes. We all know the script by now. To get what you want, you must commit your energy, focus, and discipline to achieve it. But first, you have to start somewhere. Here are some concrete steps you can engage in to help hack your way into diligence. First things first, you have to induce yourself into change. Induction is a form of self-hypnosis that prepares you for the coming self-rewiring groundwork. Translated into action, inducing yourself into change can look like many things, from identifying the right spot in your home to meditate to listening to relaxing music. The tasks should increase your alpha brain wave, which induces calmness, natural focus, and capacity to learn new information. With the right setting for meditation, you can begin pruning away old habits and define your desired outcome of a goal. It's easier to nail that new fitness routine when you imagine yourself already equipped with a six-pack. Those steps to a job promotion become more tangible when you can already see yourself championing your dream role. By focusing on your desired outcome, you create a clear roadmap for your transformation and align all efforts with your ultimate goal. At the same time, you have to raise your level of emotional awareness. What are the issues that secretly bother you? Record them so you can see the real thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations underneath them. Observe these thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. By increasing your self-awareness, you can better understand your behavioral patterns, choose which emotions to unlearn, and identify areas for self-improvement. By preparing yourself well, you can be ready to break down limiting beliefs that hold you back. Activating your new self requires consistency. Limiting beliefs can only break apart when you dare to dismantle your old self. If you have reached this far into this summary, you know you can do it. To truly break down the beliefs that hold you back, you must first know what they are. Once you're ready to examine your negative thought patterns, challenge the old assumptions you have of yourself that prevent you from reaching your desired outcome. Were you reluctant to leave a bad friendship because you secretly believed you didn't deserve nourishing ones? Retrace the origin of this distorted belief. Who or what made you think this? Once you've identified the root of it all, redirect your focus onto a new truth, that you're inherently worthy because every human is. This process ultimately creates new neural connections in the brain and frees you from false beliefs. Apply it to other areas of life you're working on, such as romance, your career, finances, and spirituality. If you find some limiting beliefs more stubborn than others, don't despair. Just keep up the process of unlearning and relearning. Eventually, their grip on you will loosen making way for new, self-serving habits to come through. To keep your self-development process consistent, you should not stop only dismantling your old self but also fill up the void with the new you. This part takes mental rehearsal. So you know what you want to achieve and how you would look like doing it, but what else is there to this version of you? What specific details can paint a more concrete
Summary You are here because, deep down, you know you deserve to take control of your life and be your best self. So leverage meditative introspection to bring forth the new you. Combine self-assessment, visualization, and a deeper understanding of the science behind change with practices like mindfulness, emotion regulation, and gratitude to accelerate your growth. Review The book is a self-help guide that aims to help readers change their habits, beliefs, and emotions by using the power of their mind. The author, Joe Dispenza, is a neuroscientist, chiropractor, and speaker who has studied the fields of quantum physics, neuroscience, brain chemistry, biology, and genetics. He claims that by understanding how the mind works and applying the principles of quantum physics, anyone can create the reality they choose and break free from the limitations of their past. The book is divided into three parts. The first part explains the science behind how the mind influences the body and the reality. The author introduces concepts such as the quantum field, the observer effect, epigenetics, neuroplasticity, and psychoneuroimmunology. He also explains how our thoughts, feelings, and actions create neural networks in our brain that form our personality and habits. He argues that most people live in a state of unconsciousness, repeating the same patterns of behavior and emotion every day, which he calls being yourself. The second part of the book provides the tools and techniques to change from the inside out. The author teaches how to meditate, visualize, and reprogram the subconscious mind with new beliefs and emotions. He also provides step-by-step -step instructions for four different meditations that are designed to help readers access the quantum field, break the habit of being themselves, create a new mind for a new future, and tune into new potentials. He claims that by practicing these meditations regularly, readers can change their brain chemistry gene expression, immune system, and energy field. The third part of the book shares some of the stories and testimonies of people who have used these principles to transform their lives. The author presents cases of people who have healed themselves from chronic illnesses, overcome addictions, achieved success in their careers, improved their relationships, and experienced mystical phenomena. He also provides some tips and advice on how to overcome common challenges and obstacles that may arise during the process of change. The book is written in a clear and engaging style that combines scientific explanations with practical examples and exercises. The author uses metaphors, analogies, stories, and humor to illustrate his points and make them easy to understand. The book is well-researched and supported by references from various sources. The book is also inspiring and motivational, as it encourages readers to take responsibility for their own happiness and well-being. One of the book's notable strengths is Dispenza's ability to bridge the gap between scientific research and spiritual concepts. He explores complex topics such as neuroplasticity and quantum physics in a way that is accessible and relatable to readers. By combining scientific explanations with real-life examples and personal anecdotes, the author provides a solid foundation for understanding the principles behind his teachings. The book offers a comprehensive framework for self-transformation. Dispenza guides readers through the process of identifying and disengaging from limiting beliefs and behaviors, and replacing them with new, empowering patterns. He introduces various meditation and visualization techniques to help individuals rewire their brains and cultivate new states of being. These techniques are well explained and supported by scientific evidence, making them practical and applicable for readers seeking personal growth. Another strength of breaking the habit of being yourself is the emphasis on personal responsibility and accountability. Dispenza encourages readers to take an active role in their own transformation, emphasizing that change requires consistent effort and commitment. He provides practical exercises and journaling prompts throughout the book, empowering readers to apply the teachings and reflect on their progress. 
Furthermore, the book addresses the connection between mind and body, highlighting the impact of our thoughts and emotions on our physical well-being. Dispenza explores the concept of the mind-body connection and offers insights into how our mental and emotional states can influence our health and overall quality of life. This perspective adds depth to the book and expands its relevance beyond personal development, touching on the intersection of psychology and physical well-being. One potential limitation of the book is that some readers may find the concepts and techniques presented to be too abstract or esoteric. Dispenza's incorporation of spiritual and metaphysical elements may not resonate with everyone, and individuals looking for purely scientific or evidence-based approaches to personal growth may find this aspect less appealing. The book is suitable for anyone who is interested in personal growth, spirituality, or alternative healing. It is also helpful for anyone who wants to change their habits, beliefs, or emotions that are holding them back from living their full potential. The book is not meant to be a substitute for professional medical or psychological advice, but rather a complement to it. The book requires an open mind and a willingness to experiment with new ideas and practices. The book is a valuable resource that offers a comprehensive and holistic approach to self-transformation. It combines Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. See you in next videos.